Hey everybody, I am going to show you a Delegator app that I built on Near Protocol uh, in my first week working with them. Um, as you saw when the app loads up, uh, we're loading some Delegator contracts. So these are uh, basically validators. Every validator deploys their own smart contract to which you can delegate tokens that they can use for staking. So we're loading uh, five validators here on the testnet. Uh, but I can't start staking until I've signed in with my web wallet. So we're going to use the near web wallet to use this DAP. And uh, I already have an account, uh, Matlock, so I'm going to allow the near staking rewards app to access the account. And that just means it can talk to the various contracts here. Um, and as you can see upon the load, uh, it's found out that I do have some near tokens staked with these first three validators. Uh, this isn't even a contract, but it's just there for list purposes. Uh, and this is just the developer validator contract. So I wanted to uh, show you a bit about how this works. So I'm going to stake some more near to staking pool two. So I will hit stake more and I'll fill that out. So I'll uh, send two near tokens and it's going to take me to the web wallet to confirm this transfer. So I'll hit allow. And this is running on the test net. So uh, basically like the main net. Um, and as you can see now, I have 4.1 near uh, staked on staking pool. You can view the transactions on near, which takes you to the Explorer. And basically you can see that there was a batch transaction that was made and it called the method uh, deposit and then it called the method stake. So the first method deposit um, actually sent the two near tokens to the contract and then stake actually called a function inside the, the smart contract and, and actually staked those tokens, so moved them to like the, the staked state. So I wanted to um, show you a bit about how this batch transaction works. So we're gonna jump uh, from, from the actual, uh, from the app over here, from the app to the actual code and we're gonna show you how the batch transaction works. So here I am in uh, validator.js under the Redux folder. So this is basically uh, a file that is managing uh, each of the individual validator contracts. Um, you can see that I've hard coded in the, the validator names that I want to that I want to address uh, or that I want to load on uh, testnet. Um, this can be this can be live loaded from you know some repo or some file that you fetch like some API. Um, the view methods are basically the, the reading the contract state and the change methods are basically going to change contract state. But what you'll notice here is there's, there's no batch method for changing uh, the contract state. There, there is a stake method and there is a deposit method, but there's no batch method. So what I actually had to do was I actually had to, um, to jump into the uh, near API uh, transactions part of the JavaScript SDK, uh, the transactions uh, class, and then basically pull out the function call uh, method and create each action individually. So here I am creating the deposit action and the stake action, and then all I had to do was uh, was basically get the account for the current wallet that's connected to the um, to the app, and then basically just call sign and send transaction with the actions, the two actions that I pushed onto the array. So it was a relatively easy experience. There are some things that are a little too low level, like this text encoder part, uh, but apparently we're cleaning that up. So um, that is a, an example of a deposit and stake uh, batch transaction that changes, uh, that, that not only deposits near, but changes uh, the state um, at the same time in one, in one sort of uh, user-initiated action. So just to see that one more time, you can basically say you want to send one near and hit stake and then say allow. And we'll just close this because we're going to open it again. And we're going to view the transactions on near. And as you can see, uh, eight seconds ago, I did another batch transaction. So uh, that's pretty cool. Um, other transactions are really easy. Um, when I first load those contracts, I'm calling some view transactions on the contract. It's really simple. You just, you know, call the necessary uh, view method and then basically just, it's a, just a promise so you can then catch. Uh, here I'm awaiting both of these 
uh, because I'm, I'm sort of attaching the result to this contract object and then I'm going to dispatch that to the UI. Uh, and that's what you see when you load the app. So uh, thank you for checking out the demo and uh, a little bit of the code that makes it work. And this was a, a fun project and first, uh, first week at Nier.